The Hawaiian volcano erupts one creating a spectacular sight. After a low of several weeks, Kilauea volcano erupted again, creating a dazzling sight around 300 acres, 120 hectares, a floor in Hawaii's volcanic summit crater. Jillian Moronic said the lava pools that formed inside Halamaumau crater were the most beautiful she had seen in 25 years. The lake is so high and so full. Sparkling, said Moronic, who operates the vacation rental business Volcano Hideaways with her husband in the nearby village of Volcano. Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. This latest eruption began Thursday, less than a month after Kilauea and its larger neighbor Mauna Loa calmed down. Kilauea last erupted from September 2021 to mid-December. Mauna Loa rumbled for the first time in 38 years when it erupted for about two weeks starting in late November. The Hawaii Volcano Observatory said Kilauea's latest eruption was expected to remain inside the summit crater, within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and away from residential communities. The initial high effusion is decreasing, and no infrastructure is jeopardized. That convinced Big Island Mayor Mitch Roth. We feel pretty good about where it is right now, he said Friday. The beauty of the eruption is a big draw for visitors. John Tarson, who owns Epic Lava, a tour company, said he has been, relentlessly, talking to tourists who want to see the volcano. The Fiery A lot of people were on the island and went to do whatever they did in Hawaii and then found out about this. And now they're diverting all their plans and coming back so they can see this, on Thursday night, lava from Kilauea erupted 164 feet 50 meters, into the air, about the height of a football field, but most of the so-called lava fountains are much smaller, as high as 32 feet. The observatory said that the surface of the crater rose 32 feet as of 7.30 p.m. Thursday as a result of all the new lava being added. By morning, the observatory said the lava fountain had lost its strength but was consistently as high as 16 feet. This was typical behavior at the start of Kilauea's eruption, said Matt Patrick, a geologist at the observatory. It's a cycle of collapse and recharge that Kilauea has done many times at its peak, he said, these early days being the best time to see lava on the surface. Jody Anastasio, a spokesperson for the National Park, said it can be difficult to see lava during the day, but there will be light at night, and all garden lookouts will have a good vantage point. For native Hawaiians, volcanic eruptions have deep cultural and spiritual significance. During the Mauna Loa eruption, many Hawaiians took part in cultural traditions, such as chanting, chanting and dancing in honor of Pele, the god of volcanoes and fire, and left offerings known as Hoakupu. Kialoha Pischota, a cultural practitioner who lives on the slopes of Kilauea, encourages Hawaiians in and around Hawaii to acknowledge Akua, or gods and goddesses like Pele, the god of volcanoes and fire. Wherever you are, take time to meditate on them and give thanks. Thanks to them for bringing new life and new land, he said Friday.